Hey everybody, got kind of a fun one today. If you like Frazetta, Frank Frazetta and Bernie Wrightson. Um, this is called the uh, ACDC of Great Art. And it's an acronym that I created to sort of be a kind of a checklist for uh, for your own art to see if you if it can pass these four categories. You're gonna have a pretty good piece of artwork. And it breaks down briefly as anatomy. A is for anatomy, how you, well you draw your faces, figures, all that stuff. C is composition, how you arrange your um, elements on the page and how they balance each other. D is design, how well does it, the darks and lights, how well does it read, how strong is the uh, impact of this piece. And lastly, C is communication. Is it, is it communicating an idea? Is it telling a story? Is it expressing something? Those are the four elements that I think make a great uh, image. So let's get started with these guys. The first one is Bernie Wrightson, uh, Frankenstein. This his, his Frankenstein work is just phenomenal, incredible. So let's just take a look at this anatomy. It's not, and you can't really necessarily see the figure very much here, but but be, even though it's because it's cloaked, but still, I mean, it's like it's. It's you can just see the the pose and the hunched over quality in the hands are just wonderfully drawn the face the hair everything's just perfectly drawn so perfect anatomy in my opinion um, now let's look at composition and and I put a little blue sort of uh, globs over the, the important elements you can kind of break it down and see what how this is arranged this is a genius uh, piece it's just it's totally creative and very interesting. You can see how he's balanced the heavy objects here on the on the on the right with the uh, these you know sort of the, you know the trees which are the sticks on the left and it's put together very well. Now in any good composition, you generally want to follow the, the rule of thirds. If you break it down to thirds, your important elements tend to be on these not smack dab in the middle unless you're doing a very graphic kind of uh, symmetrical design for images for storytelling. You kind of want to be uh, keeping your elements on these lines, whether it's photography or illustrations, not there's no difference there. Um, and you can see he does that. He's got these exciting elements all along the uh, these lines. So that's great. Now uh, I increase the contrast to give you to see what the uh, design looks like, and you can see it's very strong design. This character is you know, it's black and it's popping, and it's a nice solid graphic object. Your mind, it, you know, your eye goes right to it. You got your, you know, earth here, kind of holding it and uh, bringing that up. Got a white space here that's very large, very bold. Very, this is a really, really creative and uh, bold composition or a uh, design. Perfectly good. The the, the um, trees are wonderful, uh, strong, and they they help hold the whole thing together. So that's good. Now, what's the last thing? Communication, of course, it's communicating an incredible. Um, story here i mean this guy is you can see frankenstein is in, in the wilderness and and obviously emotionally distraught and so much communication is happening in this piece so this is this is an example of an outstanding piece of art it's incredible uh, anyone who hasn't seen the, the bernie rights and frankenstein stuff must see it it's it's just incredible okay let's go next piece is a, is a bernie rights and uh star lord and it's uh you know, wonderfully drawn. I mean, the whole thing is, is these, this whole thing is, is sculpted so well, this hand and everything, is, you know, just amazing, amazing art. The, you know, the face is a little wonky here, but that's within his, his uh, style. So it's really fine. It's nothing wrong with it at all, actually. So let's look at the uh, composition. Uh, now, it, this is an interesting thing to say too here because the, the, um, Composition and design are very related sometimes. They're inter almost interchangeable in, in some ways. How he's arranged these shapes, how he balances this on that side is uh, a great composition, but it's also a great design. Let's see, the, put it into thirds here. He's got to see the important elements are going through the, along these in these grids here. So it's a very another very bold design. This may have, may have a little more space on it than the actual image I'm projecting here. So we'll see if... Uh, it, it may be a little better composition. Okay, here's the um, 
the design of course the blacks and whites it pop and you can read this forever you know it's it's, it's it pops from a distance fantastic fantastic design really really stunning piece of artwork um what's it communicating well obviously this cre incredible story this you know star lord's riding this guy down this the, the hill it's just it's wild it's just i mean that's classic bernie writes in, in incredibleness and so that's 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 a winner it passes all the, the criteria and now another just i mean this one oh my gosh this is so this is another frankenstein it's just so beautiful i mean it's just a stunning piece of artwork um anatomy look at look at this look at the hands and everything in the face oh it's just built beautifully drawn these hands are just incredible exquisite exquisite okay let's look at the um the composition on this one interesting balancing act here he's got he's got you know, some you know a big tree branch here and he's got this sort of sort of framing the uh frankenstein and so that's a really really nice thing um again on the on the axis of the thirds um so it's really really good on the grid um let's look at the that design design is obviously so strong look at that the the white parts are the him and his hand both hands and this rock down here it's holding it together fantastic piece incredible how about communication well like, i mean what can you say it's it's just his his this is so powerful so poetic so beautiful uh, i would just you know you, you want to cry it's just so it's so damn good i mean it's just so awesome all right, let's get to the next one. Um, Hulk versus Man Thing. Pretty fun. Let's say we got uh, um, Great Anatomy. Hulk is, is, is strong and beautiful and fantastic. Punching through with Man Thing, which is incredibly cool. Um, but everything's drawn perfectly awesome. It's, it's really, really great. Let's look at the, at the uh, composition of this piece. Um, <clears throat> Now, and this is interesting because the the logo itself actually is a part of the composition. It really holds the whole thing together. You got uh, a great, uh, you know, large figure, small figure, medium size, you know, large, medium, small, um, balanced by this piece of uh, earth here. Uh, and but the logo is also working into this uh, composition. It's, it's holding, it's 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 balancing this element and these elements together. And that, so it's, you know, in these old comics, uh, lo the logo was very much a part of the compositions. Let's look at the design. Now with this one, it's it uh, doesn't look as strong in black and white because it is a color comic. So you you really kind of, I mean, the uh, the uh, the color is, is, is creating the contrast, the color contrast, which is important. That, that's another thing, just like black and white contrast, you have color contrast. So this is, a successful piece very much so more than you would be in you know but even even in black and white though it's still very strong it's very readable still so communication obviously it's a great uh you know it's a classic cover everybody loves this cover it's so fantastic hulk versus man thing what a what a great concept we need more of this in comics i don't know why it's not in comic but the people aren't doing this kind of stuff anymore it's sad but we'll, it'll come with, with the the new crowd with the advent advent you know advent of crowdfunding we're going to see more of this great stuff coming another stunning uh, frankenstein piece uh and it is just uh, you know obviously it's just beautifully drawn it's it that this hand is i mean we even have to say anything about this one look at that those neck muscles is the jaw the hand it's, it's just incredible it's 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 you know one of the greatest comic book pieces ever done in the history of comics so um let's look at the um composition on this um you can see the the elements are along the grid here somewhat and it's very very strong all this stuff is really really interesting how he balances the large element here with the hand there you know fantastic simply fantastic here's the contrast of course it's screaming contrast uh, you know one thing to keep in mind is is strong lighting helps create contrast so if you have you know dramatic strong lighting you're going to have good darks and lights and they will be more readable generally speaking so okay that of course the communication it's communicating his emotions with that face it's just you know wonderful 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 okay um this one's interesting uh the uh i, I picked this one because of the the, the the fascinating composition but let's first look at the anatomy 
all these hands and, and faces and stuff. You know, they're cartoony, but they're just really, really well put together. Look at that face. It's just, it's just awesome. These, these two faces, these three faces, my goodness. They're so cool. Oh, man. What a great piece. What a great, interesting, you know, um, uh, format to just being really long like that. Let's look at the uh, at the composition here. Um, now I, this is I don't have the grid uh, sort of created with that uh, with this size of uh, these dimensions, but um, generally speaking, though it's it's along the elements are along this uh, this line here. So he's in the center, but it's kind of you know the, the important parts are more up in the corner here. That's good, very very good. Let's look at the contrast. Um, you can see these guys all lit, them, hands, and background. Everything, all these elements, this is, this is a nice, nice, interesting design. Lights and darks, takes your eye right through the whole picture. Wonderful, wonderful uh, design. Storytelling, well, <laughs> something crazy is going on here, as only Bernie would, uh, would do. Look at this guy's face on the back of his head. Oh my gosh. It's just radical, radical. Fantastic piece. Lots of fun. Comics, you know, personified here okay oh now we're into Frazetta Frazetta oh I love this piece it's so incredible it's so amazing um the anatomy oh my gosh what can we say look at that painting that's just that's just so incredible and look how loose it is it's not even super tight it's the, the, those, those paint strokes are, are but it's just so everything's placed so well it's so perfect tight where it needs to be tight loose where it can be loose and it's just an, an amazing uh, figure. Let's look at the uh, composition. Fantastic composition. Um, you know, the, the, the elements are, not, are all up here and down, down here and along the grid a little bit. Um, I wonder if this grid actually is not so good for these pieces, but uh, whatever, you get the idea. Um, everything's balanced. You got a nice shape here going up. It's sort of, it's a little more centered, but it's it's going back and forth and hit, hitting the the grid elements. These little things, each one of these little things, these elements balance out the composition. They all help sort of uh, anchor it. And of course, these things that you build your basic triangle, uh, you know, uh, a composition coming in there, which is one of his his trademarks. Is, is really strong with with his triangle stuff. Um, the contrast. Well, obviously, you can see. It, the the, the uh, body's popping out looking looks fantastic and this is what's interesting is, is he had a problem though uh, that he solved here which is really interesting he has conan has black hair and and what you know light of course light skin how does he pop him off how does he say well he did it a clever thing by putting this 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 pattern on the snake which holds that and you can see it a little better in the in, in the um the finish you can see how that pattern helps pop out the head if it wasn't there it wouldn't be as strong of a design it wouldn't read as well this light is popping out the dark so that's pretty cool story-wise um in communication it's communicating an incredible scene if you've read any of the howard stories you know his stuff is just incredible this was a perfect marriage of frazetta and and uh, robert e howard so great, great, great. One of the greatest illustrations, fantasy, fantasy illustrations ever created, period. Okay, let's go with, oh, this thing is just incredible too. Wow. Um, I mean, every, every time I say that, that was the greatest, I think well, maybe this is the greatest. <laughs> so let's look at the, um, the the composition on this one. Well, well, let's look at the anatomy first. Oh, it's, you know, it's, it's freaking awesome. Look, that face is so cool muscled strong classic Frazetta anatomy very powerful legs uh, great pose hair is fantastic everything is great on this it's just these creatures are wild let's look at the composition um interesting framing of the character obviously he's down there let me put this i think i need to, to adjust the grid a little bit on these these particular ones let's see if i can do that um so fit a little better. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay, now you can see um, 
the elements are on the grid, on the thirds, all these important elements. He's he's along this line, this guy's here, and this is up here. And they 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 frame the character just that's a really strong design to, to pop it out. The contrast, of course, shows you the same thing. Uh, these dark elements, light elements, the background's light, the, char the character's basically dark with some highlights on him. Um, amazing, amazing design. And my goodness, the story is obviously wild. You know, he's communicating perfectly what's going on here. This guy's struggling. I mean, it is just, that's just so dang cool. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. <laughs> Uh, that look how lucid all is too. Just you know, this this technique is just you know this background, this indication, but it's got so much texture. And uh, I just I could go on forever when talking about this piece. Um, okay, let's let's not. We got to keep going. Um, incredible piece, incredible triangle composition. Uh, let's look at that anatomy. Looks fantastic. Hands great. Arm musculature is great. Leg musculature is great. Cool pose. Cool face. Well drawn. Very simple when you look at it, actually. Um, these things, you know, anatomy of the, the bears is just unbelievable. It, the animals are tough to do and get them right and get them bold and get them interesting. Boy, he sure can do it. So you got a great, well-drawn piece. Let's look at our, our uh, composition. Now, this is just fantastic. You can see how it, it makes such an interesting shape. This, this, this mountain here anchors the this whole you know shape of a blob of stuff these two pieces kind of hold it and, and uh put it together it's just an interesting shape fantastic you know, fantastic composition let's look at the contrast you know obviously reads a million miles away this is you know this, you see this stuff on vans and trucks and everything and all these frazetta stuff because they're they're incredible they, they're so well designed they're so well executed everything about them is just unbelievable and of course Communicating. What is it communicating? Fantastic and just extraordinary, unbelievable idea of, of polar bears <laughs> pulling a sled, which is just freaky cool, man. It's so, I love this hair too. On the, the blood on the sword is kind of sticking to his hair. Oh my gosh, what a what a story! What a what a you know, communicator this guy was. Hey, right, let's see what this one is. Oh yeah, this is really an interesting one. Um, you know, of course, fantastic. Anatomy's excellent. Look at that hand. That look at that, the the tension in that hand. The musculature. The neck here is fantastic. That that strong leg. Great, great anatomy. Anatomy of the creatures is really impressive as well. Uh, so that's good. Let's look at the composition. Um, fantastic. Uh, Triangle, you know, Frazetta's triangle composition, which he often uses. Uh, you've got an element here, an element here, an element here, all being held, and then you have some some supporting elements that sort of put the whole thing together. Fantastic. Along the grid, the important elements on the grid areas. So that's really good. Contrast. Of course, you can you know again read this the Frazetta stuff a mile away. That's it's almost bulletproof. It just you could print this stuff so badly and it still looks good. Um, so that's fantastic, obviously. Storytelling, I mean, come on. This is the classic, you know, the, the creature in the depth and the, the Davy Jones locker kind of thing down here. This guy's terrified, obviously. You can see the tension, you know, it's telling the story of, oh my goodness, he's in big trouble. <laughs> These little fish add little details and bones of, of those past victims of this guy obviously are there so that's fantastic it's a you know it's a great great image oh this is you know another classic classic frazetta uh, the anatomy is just incredible this face both these faces are just unbelievable incredible that he didn't make he put frazetta's face on the side and didn't make them the star of the show these guys actually are the star of the show in this illustration because they are just stunningly, amazingly drawn. The leg muscles, really cool, super strong, super well put together. Great pose, great movement, hairs you know, falling, flying, got the helmet coming off. I mean, this guy obviously just got cut by Conan 
And if you know the story, that's one of the greatest uh, Conan stories ever by Robert E. Howard, the Frost Giant's daughter. Check it out. You've got to read it if you haven't. It's not a long story. It's very short. And it's, it's, uh, it's a great read. The composition is excellent. Uh, you have the mountain here helping f uh, hold this whole thing together. All these, these figures are, are floating, but not really. They're being held with an anchor of this uh, piece of uh, snow and a snow shadow. So it's really, really interesting. It's a, it's a really, really good thing. Um, let's put the grid on it. See, he's on the grid. He's on the grid. He's sort of on the grid. The axe and stuff. Um, great composition. Really, really good. Um, communication. <laughs> you know, Frost Giant's daughter. <laughs> it's just a. If you read the story, this is this is the scene you would imagine. It's just incredible. So perfect communication. Master communicator. Last one for 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 Frizetta is uh, another great uh, Conan. And uh, this is, of course, <laughs> this anatomy is fantastic. His arms powerfully strong, great. He's, you know, looks like he's gripping these things. Uh, the leg muscles, fantastic. The horse anatomy is in outstanding. They just to be able to give so much dynamics to a horse. Horses are so tough to draw, but the anatomy now of the the demon creatures down here and, and bad guys is excellent. Perfectly done. Arm is great. Hand is great. Everything's wonderfully drawn. Let's look at the composition of this. Uh, great. Uh, you got your, it's it's somewhat centered, but it's, it's gonna be up on the grid. It, it'll, the important element here is up on the grid, down here, the horse's face, this guy. And this whole thing is held together by these, you know, these uh, elements going across the, the, the soldiers and army and all that sort of thing. Let's look at the contrast. Contrast is great. You can see the white element, the, the, this popping off the blacks, the whites and black, darks and darks and lights. The the very strong light element here popping off the horse shape. So you have the horse shape is is, is almost black, and he's he's you know being brought out by the, this light part here, but they also have this bit here this of light. So two light parts, and they really work together for a very very strong design. Okay, communication. Well, <laughs> it's just so damn cool, charging the you know the ranks. I mean, who could do this? Uh, it's it's he he was a genius. There's no question about it. He was some kind of genius, a great illustrator. So that's it, except for one more, and we're gonna challenge myself here, my own art. Let's see how I do <laughs> in my own checklist. Um, there's the, uh, let's, let's start with anatomy. I think it's pretty good. Looking at it now, I think I could do a little better than I did here, but this is fine. It's strong anatomy, it's great. Um, solid uh, figures, you know, well posed and that sort of thing. Interesting pose, I think, baseball swing kind of thing. So anatomy is fine, the creature's anatomy is fine. He's good, strong, good elements. Um, composition. I did the Frizzetta thing, the, the classic triangle composition. Strong, you know, a big, a big creature, smaller person, trees holding the thing together. Let's see how it does in the thirds. Um, yeah, and everything's on, basically on the thirds. So it's a good, it's a pretty good composition. Let's actually make this so I can see how closely I am here. Um, a little better. I want, I want to give myself every chance I got up against these these masters. So it's it's a very good, solid, professional composition. It's not genius like like the other guys, uh, you know. But it's 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 a professional, solid piece, and it's pretty good. So it's it's you know it's very good. I think actually, it's, this is one of my better pieces. Of course, I want to pick the one of my best pieces. I've done some snickers in my time, and this wasn't one of them. This is a pretty good piece. So let's take a look at the contrast. Um, it is uh, it's it's. It's pretty good. It reads from a good distance. Uh, so he is, uh, you got light elements on him and his legs, arms, and the creature's lit. His leg is lit. You know, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty good. Readable, strong. Uh, good, good design. Overall, uh, uh, storytelling. I think it's really, really good storytelling. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this this uh, guy's about to, you know, make. Uh, uh, sort of a salad out of this green guy here, this this plant type creature. 
Um, and you got these little, it looks like maybe it's his children or something. I don't know. <laughs> but down here coming up, that's interesting and fun. So it's a fun story. It's obviously classic monster, you know, him versus the monster and sort of thing. It's a different kind of a twist for a monster, I think. So I would say really, really good. Um, uh, I think I, this is a successful piece for me. So I passed the test. I passed my own test. And I think that that's that's pretty good. Hopefully I can keep doing other stuff that's just as good or better than this. And uh, maybe at some point match these uh, other masters of Wrightson and uh, Frazetta. And that's, but you got to keep trying, got to keep working. All right, I think that's it. So the ACDC, if you do, if you follow these rules, take your piece of artwork and run it through the checklist, you know, anatomy, composition, design, and communication. If you can, if you look at your piece of work, artwork and you say, hey, okay, I've done all these things. It, it, it's good on all these fronts. Then you're going to have a good piece of artwork, most likely, for the most part. So I hope this was helpful. And we'll see you on the next uh, tutorial. Thanks for showing up.